Have you ever paused to consider why some companies thrive while others seem to flounder? Could it be that the secret lies not in what they do but how they're structured? Welcome to the intricate world of organizational structures, where the anatomy of a company can dictate its destiny. Picture this. The functional and divisional structures stand as two distinct approaches, each with its unique strengths and weaknesses. Dive into the realm of the functional structure and you encounter a world where specialization rules. Here, employees are grouped by their expertise and skills, creating an environment where each department focuses on its own set of tasks. Operations run like a well-oiled machine, with each cog turning smoothly in its own niche. The beauty of this structure lies in its efficiency. By allowing employees to focus on their areas of expertise, companies can harness the power of specialization. It's like having a team of surgeons, each with their own unique skill set, working together to keep the body corporate healthy and robust. However, this system is not without its drawbacks. The intense focus on individual departments can lead to a lack of communication between them, creating a siloed environment where the left hand doesn't know what the right is doing. Now let's shift gears and explore the divisional structure. Imagine a company as a large ship, broken down into smaller boats, each with its own captain. That's the essence of the divisional structure, where each division operates as a separate entity, responsible for its own profit and loss. What makes this structure appealing? Flexibility. With each division operating independently, they can quickly adapt to changes in their market segment. It's akin to small boats that can change course swiftly, compared to a large ship that takes time to shift direction. But, like the functional structure, the divisional structure has its pitfalls. The autonomy of divisions can lead to duplication of resources and efforts, and the competitive nature of the structure can result in divisions working against each other, rather than as a unified whole. In a nutshell, the functional structure thrives on efficiency and expertise, but may struggle with interdepartmental communication. On the other hand, the divisional structure offers flexibility and adaptability, but risks duplication of efforts and internal competition. So what's the takeaway from this exploration of organizational structures? It's that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. The choice between a functional and divisional structure, or indeed a hybrid of the two, depends on a company's size, its goals, and the market in which it operates. In the end, it's about understanding these structures, weighing their pros and cons, and making an informed choice. After all, the right organizational structure can be the backbone of a company's success.